Well, there it is. There's the reveal. Yeah. It's a, uh, it's a 2009 Harley Davidson Road King, and Leslie made me get one that would match the RV. I did not make <laughs> you. It just so happens to match. Well, we're going to tell you all about it here in a couple seconds. Stick around, but first, let's ride. Okay. So much fun. Yeah. So much fun. <laughs> so happy to be back on a on a motorcycle and back riding. And big thank you to um, CV May here in Oregon. Yeah. Uh, you know our friends who we were stationed with in Germany are members out here. Mm -hmm. And so our first ride back, we got to ride with Will and Wendy and their chapter. Yep. Just awesome. Great group. Felt like being back home, being back on a bike, being mm -hmm. back in formation. And and by the way, yes. you're, you're doing pretty good on your footage Am I? on the back back there. <laughs> yeah, well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Looking pretty cool. <laughs> so we'll tell you a little bit about the bike. It's a like we said, it's 2009 uh, Harley Davidson Road King, and uh, we had to go with private seller. Mm -hmm. So a uh, big thank you to Dick. Yes. He was awesome. Great um, guy. You know, a lot of times when you go to purchase or or look at a pre-owned motorcycle from a private seller. They're not cool with letting you ride it. Just they yeah. just you gotta Take look at it because of liability stuff. Yes, yeah, so, and <laughs> I completely understand that. And yeah. I was totally prepared to not be able to ride it. But Dick let us uh, let us ride it. He actually went out on the ride right, with really? me, mm -hmm. and uh, it was just awesome. Yeah, and it, he has an appreciation for the bikes. He which does helps because the, it is immaculate for an 09. It is, I mean, man. This thing is He's a mechanic by trade, so yeah. it's been well cared for yes. since he's had it. Yeah, it only has 27,000 miles on it, so for an 09, that's really good. Yeah. Uh, low mileage. Of course, we bought it up here in Sandy, Oregon, mm -hmm. which is better for buyers because there's a riding season. Yes. And since there's a riding season, generally bikes up here have lower mileage. Wow. If you buy a bike down south where people ride year round, like you're going to have higher mileage. Way higher. We were the same way. We put a ton of miles on our bikes when we lived down in well, Alabama. Well, we rode almost every weekend, so. Yeah. Uh, we are the third owner of this motorcycle. Mm -hmm. And so the first uh, gentleman took very good care of it. Lots of upgrades. Oh, yeah. Lots of upgrades. And then, like we said, Dick took very good care of it mm -hmm. for the short time that he had it also. And thank you so much, Dick, for helping us through that process. Yeah. First time we've ever bought any vehicle through a private seller. Yeah. And so it was a learning curve, and we had to send... You know, power of attorney and paperwork back to our daughter Lauren in Alabama to, to get register it registered it. and everything. Yeah. So um, it is a little bit more a little more work on work our part, not going through a dealer, but we yeah. saved a ton of money doing All it that way. Um, and like we mentioned, uh, it matches the RV. It does. <laughs> 
So it looks good going down the road. It looks like it belongs oh, with, yeah, with the like Alliance. It came with it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, same color scheme. Um, yeah. I've never had a white motorcycle before. No, we haven't. You've always had black cars. So this is new to us, but yeah. I like it. I do like it. Yeah, it's sharp, man. Yeah. It looks kind of like a police cruiser or a chips. It does remind you of <laughs> yeah. that, yeah. But it's nice. Um, look, we're, we're still not showing you the towing option, and we're doing that on purpose. And the reason why is because we've only towed with this twice. Mm -hmm. uh, just about 250 miles total so far. Yeah. And we want to make sure that we are showing you the correct way. So we are going through the learning curves mm -hmm. um, and, and learning the ins and outs of it. We want to make sure that we are very comfortable with it so that when we do the video, it's not awkward. It flows very well, yes. very informative, and make sure that you have all of the correct information because we're sure that, that there are gonna be people out here who purchase this option for towing. Mm -hmm. And we wanna make sure that they know how it works, exactly they have it all works. the information that they need mm -hmm. before they make that decision. Yes. That's important to us because it is a bit of an investment and we wanna make sure we get it right. So just be patient with us. That video is coming up mm -hmm. probably in a few weeks. Yeah. But we'll let you know. We'll keep you updated. We're not trying to build suspense. We just want to make sure we get it right. And we have to get towing footage. Yes, that too. Because <laughs> we want to get it from all angles. We want to show you exactly how it works. We'll put the GoPro on the on the on the back so we can so you can see exactly how how what this, it looks what like, it looks in like transportation. while it's being towed. Yeah. yeah. So that's what we're doing there. So just be patient with us. Um, we did get a lot of. Uh, well, the comments when we when we announced that we got a bike people that were like Indian people because we rented we an did. Indian and we loved the Indian it was a um, gorgeous bike there's just not as many of them around and they're a little more pricey yes. and there's not as many dealers around for services we figured Harley you can pretty much be anywhere in the they're country like take your bike in for yeah, services everywhere. you don't have to go very far because we don't do you know Indian ourselves. is fewer and further between yeah so we felt more comfortable with the Harley. It's what we know. Yeah. So a little bit more about the bike. Like we said, it has 27,000 miles on it. Um, it is an 09, uh, but it, uh, and so it started out with the 96 cubic inch engine. Yeah. But this thing has a stage three Screaming Eagle package upgrade. Yes. So it'll scream. Yes. It'll roll. <laughs> I know you love that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not such a big fan. Well, it's just more power, and, and it is well, better yeah, the if, power you, I get, if you got to get noise. out in front of a, a vehicle, or if you got to get by somebody real quick. You yeah. want that extra power. You yes, want that you extra do. gear uh, to get by safely. Yeah. Sometimes you have to go faster to be safer. Yes. If that makes any sense. Yes. If you ride, it makes sense. Yeah. Um, it has the Bub dual exhaust. Mm -hmm. now, I'm not gonna tell you what Bub stands for because I'd have <laughs> to bleep it out. But. Um, <laughs> But go on, look up the Bub exhaust, and you'll see what it stands for. But there, it's a good aftermarket exhaust. It's true dual exhaust, mm -hmm. so and it has a pretty decent sound to it. It does. <laughs> yeah. Which I'm happy about. I know you are. You're happy about the seat. Love the seat. Seats are always a big issue with us. Yeah. Because, well, when we rode a lot, it was a major issue because you want your butt to be comfortable when you're yeah. riding. I mean, we've ridden to Milwaukee. Uh, Kansas City. Kansas City, you know, yeah. it, those are long rides and you got to be comfortable. So we upgraded yours yeah. early on when you started riding Harleys and then every trade-in we took that seat with us. If it would fit yeah, or we'd buy a new one. But this one came this, with an aftermarket seat, yes. super comfortable. We went on a couple hour ride and no butt numbness. None at whatsoever. all. Whatsoever. None. Super comfortable. Yeah. Um, and it's probably helping my, my leg issues too with that being really comfortable. Um, the pegs You're on not the, doing the butt shift. Yeah. The yeah. pegs on the engine guard are set up just, it's just very comfortable aesthetically for me. Yes. And because I pretty much stay on the highway pegs. You do. Unless we're in town and I'm shifting a yeah. lot. But if we're out riding, I'm on the pegs, man. Yeah. And so that's what's more, more comfortable for me. Mm -hmm. But there's lots of other upgrades on this thing. It's all chromed out everywhere. Yeah. Uh, even the switches, down to the, the start switches so it, and horns yes, and everything. I is, like that they're chrome. It's all chromed out. Um, it's got the extra headlights on it. It's just got the engine guards, the saddlebag guards. It can go yeah. on forever. It has a bunch of upgrades that, that whoever put it on this It came thing. with a tour package. It did? It came with uh, the sissy removable, bar? yeah. Luggage rack? Tour pack? pack? I mean, yeah. Yeah. Came with a bunch of extra stuff. Yeah. So we're loving it so far. Um, again, we will get the video out soon mm -hmm. about how we're moving this thing around the country. Um, no one else is doing anything like it. 
Yeah. So it's very unique. Uh, and because we are one of the first ones trying it out, like we said, we want to make sure we get it right. And we're already getting people coming to the Just campsite. Just stop at the campground. And, and saying, about it. Yeah. tell me about this. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. all the more reason we need to get the video <laughs> out and going yeah but it's super exciting thank you all when we when we did the announcement video tons of great comments everybody's super happy for us and yes. excited for us we're happy to be back out there lots of riding footage coming up soon on the channel because mm -hmm. we're going to be out exploring lots of cool places and to that's ride. what i look forward to is not having to take the truck to some exploration stops yeah easier to park it's e yeah easier to get around and different scenes that we can see by riding instead of the truck better gas mileage <laughs> especially out here gas is yeah. kill you out here well that's it um that's the bike we're happy yes and like we do at the end of all of our videos we're going to honor a fallen hero mm -hmm. if you want to get involved with helping us help bets out on the road everything you need to know is down there in the description of this video we appreciate you watching thank you for all the great comments we really appreciate it we'll see you out on the road <laughs> see you next time bye, bye.